Outlook Web App 2019 allows you to go in and change distribution group information, such as the distribution groups you may be a part of. If we click on the gear at the top and click on Options, and then we can expand General, then on the left-hand side we see Distribution Groups. So let's click on that, and we see a couple different things. One is Distribution Groups I Belong To, and the other ones are Distribution Groups I Own. So the ones you belong to are ones that maybe somebody else created uh, or possibly ones that you created and you can add or delete yourself from that group. So for instance, if I go to the IT group, then I can click the details button and I can see a list of who's in the group. So if I scroll down, I can see members, I can see myself, I can see Jennifer, I can see John. I also see membership requests, just in case anyone's requesting to be a member in the group. So if I decide to, I can go in and add or delete myself just by clicking on leave. And then if I want to get back in, I can do a request to get in. So I'll just go ahead and close that. And if you look on the right hand side, we see distribution groups I own. So these are ones that I actually started. So if I click on, once again, the IT group and click the details pane, then we can see information such as who is the owner. If I want, I can add additional owners into this group. I can also go to membership. I can make changes to who's in the group. Go to membership approvals and I can say anyone can get in, it's closed, or you have to request approval to get in. Delivery management, only senders inside my organization can send it to this group. I could also open it up to people out on the internet. Here's message approval. This is in case we need a moderator for messages before they go out. And we also have email options for the group can receive messages sent to the following addresses. Mail tips are certainly helpful in, in case you have any kind of errors uh, in creation or other problems. It does give you an idea of what's, uh, what can be helpful in those areas. When you have it set the way you want it, you can click Save. You can also click on plus and I can create a whole new distribution group. I'll just type this test group and I'll give it the same alias name just to make it simple. And I can make it a security group instead of distribution, but that would not help us with email. That would only help us uh, if we were making uh, shared folders and that kind of thing, which we're not doing. The owners, uh, of course, it's myself, the administrator. I'm going to go in and add Jennifer to that as well. And then down in the members area, I'm going to go and add in, we'll add in Greg, and we'll add in John. Click OK. And here's the settings we mentioned earlier about whether you want to have, leave it open or you want to have it a closed or request to get in. Click Save. So now what's going to happen is if anybody emails this group, anybody in the group, including the owners of the group, because I left that box checked, they will automatically get that email all at once. So that is creating distribution groups in Outlook Web App, also known as Outlook on the Web 2019.